Today, I'm going to show you how to finish a custom rifle stock with True Oil. This is a Richards Semi Inlet uh, Microfit Gun Stock. I bought it for my birthday a few years ago and finally got to it. When they come, they're pretty rough. So you sand, you finish shaping like the foreign tip, you finish inletting the action. Gun is unloaded. You finish inletting the action. And I did all that off camera, but on camera I'm going to show you how to get a nice, smooth, mm, high gloss finish with True Oil. And this is more semi-gloss to high gloss. It's not quite mirror finish. But True Oil is a very easy product to use, so let's get started. I'm going to have to get a new bottle of it, but True Oil, right here, gun stock finish, is also a very popular finish for guitars, I've heard. Um, it's kind of a linseed oil blend with polymers and varnishes added. And it gives a very nice, easy to do finish that you can take from just a low gloss luster, which is what I'm going to do, all the way up to high gloss. So I'm going to be using this product. I'm going to be, I'm going to get a new bottle of it before I do that. It's kind of expensive for what it is, I think, but I really do like it for something, especially that you're going to handle. I think this would be a good tool handle finish, too. Once you get a close-up of the stock, that grain is going to be beautiful once I get it sanded and finished. Here's just a little rub mark when I had it in my vise. Um, I do have a checkering kit, but I'm not going to checker the stock as of now because it just I get a good grip on it, and I don't have to do that. If you're refinishing an old gun stock, you'll first want to remove the old finish using some type of stripper that you can get from Lowe's or Home Depot, just make sure it's for wood, obviously. Then you'll want to sand up to 220 grit. I use my random orbital sander because it's got variable speed and I'm comfortable with it, but you can really mess up the contours on your stock if you're not really careful. After you sand it to 220 grit, you wipe it down with mineral spirits to remove all the sanding dust, and it'll kind of give you an idea of what it'll look like when you finish it. It looks very dark right now because this wood happened to be very porous and since it's very porous the next few steps are to fill those pores and to fill the grain to give you an even smoother finish. Now that we've sanded the 220 we apply our first coat of troil. This first coat we want to dilute with mineral spirits, about two parts mineral spirits to one part oil and really lather it on really heavy. Diluting it allows the oil to soak in deeper into the wood, and since it's very porous, we really want to get that oil as deep as possible, so by thinning it out, it really gets. While the coat is still wet, you want to take your 220 grit sandpaper and start re-sanding the entire stock. What this does is it drives that oil in deeper and the sawdust mixes with the oil and creates a wood filler that obviously perfectly matches your stock and this will make it super smooth when you're all done. You want to wait about two hours between coats but after that time come back and put another coat of the diluted troil over the top and then let that dry an additional two hours. I'm in West Texas heat so two hours might not be long enough for you. Here we are today. We've got our stock sanded to 220 with a coat of oil that soaked in really good. At this point we've done two coats of the diluted true oil blend and now everything's sanded to 220 grit. Now it is time to start wet sanding with 320. I've let the finish set up about 12 hours. It's a little bit harder but wet sanding will still continue the process of sawdust mixing with the not fully cured finish and filling those pores even more and just 320 will start leveling out that finish. So it will look really, really good when we're done. Now I'm just taking a damp cloth and I'm just going to wipe down all this dust that I let get on here. And what needs to will still stay in the pores and what wants to come off will come off. Okay, here 
is where we are at right now. This is one of those things where it looks worse before it looks better. I'm going to let this sit and dry a little bit longer. Off camera I buffed it with triple aught steel wool. After I did that I made sure to remove all the steel wool dust and now we're putting on our first full strength coat of true oil. If you want a super super mirror high gloss finish uh, you can keep sanding up and then use a spray finish but 320 is as high as you can really really need to go with a hand rubbed finish. So this is our first full strength coat. Let that set up two hours and now we're going to wet sand it again with 320 to smooth it out even more. If there's any uneven places in the finish that will level it out and it just starts really polishing that finish. That wet sanding of the full strength coat was the last time I'm going to wet sand on this stock. Now I'm going to buff it with triple alt steel wool to level out the finish and remove any of that sanding dust that won't come off with a wet rag. You can see here I've got kind of a satin finish already with two half strength coats and one full strength coat wet sanded and polished. Now I'm just going to put on two more additional full strength coats. I'm now to the point in the stock finish where I'm going to want to handle this less and less. Troy oil is best put on with your bare hands with just fingertips and rub in. So I've got my new, got my new jar of it and I'm going to dump it in my little coffee cup to not contaminate this jar any more than I have to. And see this much oil that's about the consistency of honey, which is one reason I diluted it in the earlier stages of this. It's about all you need to cover this gun stock. After wet sanding the full strength coat, I did a, an additional three coats on top of it. Each time between coats, I would buff it out with triple alt steel wool and then of course remove all the metal dust that you get with steel wool and then a coat on top of it. The third and final coat I left as is because it got a nice satin finish on it. With true oil you want to just rub it in to get full coverage but you want to do it as thin as possible. The great thing about it is even after the finish is dry you can go and just put a little dab to touch up a spot that you missed. So the idea is with your fingers, it kind of heats up, soaks in a little deeper, and then it just kind of polishes itself in. This method will give you a semi-gloss finish. If you want a more of a satin finish, after this coat has dried for about two days, you can buff it with quadruple alt steel wool and polish it out or use uh, Birchwood Casey's stock sheen and conditioner. I've done that in the past on other guns, but I really kind of like the higher gloss look once I got done with this one. And you can see it here. And it's just personal taste. If you want super high gloss, you need to get the True Oil and the Aerosol, or maybe even use a different type of finish. Here's another view of the stock. All done. The finish will dull a little bit as it dries. And here it is, all done back in its barreled action. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Still need to fit the recoil pad and install sling swivel studs. If you have any questions on finishing this, I have a more detailed article on my website, dailywoodworks.com, or just leave questions in the comments. I'm happy to give you any help I can so you can do this yourself. It's really not that hard and you can do it. So thanks for watching and have a great day.